In this video, we'll show you how to download and install Fabric Mods in Minecraft Java Edition. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Fabric is a lightweight mod loader that makes it easy to add mods to Minecraft. Unlike heavier alternative, Fabric loads fast, updates quickly, and uses fewer resources. I'll walk you through every step from downloading the Fabric installer to adding mods to your game. Before we continue, a quick shout out to Apex Hosting for sponsoring this video. I'll be covering the single player method in this video, but if you want to play modern Minecraft with friends on a dedicated server, Apex Hosting gives you one-click mod pack installs, 24-7 uptime, DDoS protection, instant setup, and live support. There's 25% off your first invoice, there'll be a link down below if you're interested, and it's also in the pinned comment. Now, we're going to download the Fabric installer. Open up your browser and go to fabricmc.net. Now here, simply click the download button and then download the universal jar. Save it somewhere in your PC. By default, it's gonna go to your downloads folder. Just hit save and the download will start right away. All right, after you finish downloading, you'll have the installer file. It's in the jar extension, so you'll need Java to run it. If you don't already have Java installed, let's download it now. You can go to java.com and here, just download and install the latest version of Java. After installing Java, you can right click the Fabric installer, open with, and then open it up with Java. The Fabric installer window will open. Now here, select the correct Minecraft version you're playing. In this case, I want to install for Minecraft 120.1, so I'm selecting that, and you don't need to change anything else, just click install. Fabric will now install into your Minecraft launcher. Once it's done, you can close this window. All right, now you can open up Minecraft launcher. In the top menu, go to the installations tab, find your new Fabric installation, hover over it, and click the folder icon that appears. This will open up .minecraft folder in file explorer. Inside, you should see a mods folder. If you don't have it, simply create a new folder and name it mods. Let's go ahead and open the mods folder. This is the folder where you're gonna install all of the fabric mods. All right, so most fabric mods require the fabric API to work. So we need to download it first. You can open up your browser again, and this time go to curseforge.com. Once you're here, click on Minecraft, and then go to the browse all tab. On the left side, you'll see a filter option for mod loaders. Check fabric, since that's what we're using. Now in the search bar, type in fabric API, just like that, and press enter. You'll see it by modmus50. Click on it to go to the mod page. Go to the files tab and here you need to download the correct game version. For me, that's 120.1. Click on the three dots and select download file. Save it to your PC, hit save, and the download will start. Now that we have Fabric API, we can download mods to install. You can also download them through CourseForge. Just make sure on the left, you are checking Fabric in the mod loader filters. Then simply look for the mod you want. For example, I want to download Automobility by Foundation Games. So what I can do is click on it to go to the mod page and then go to the files tab. And here we need to make sure both the game version and mod loader are correct. On the top, you can filter it. For me, it's 121.1 for the game version and fabric for the mod loader. Once you find it, click the three dots and select download file just like before. Once you've downloaded all your mods, including fabric API, go back to the mods folder in your Minecraft directory. And now just drag and drop all of the mods into the mods folder. And that's done. You can go back to Minecraft Launcher on the Play tab in the Profile drop-down menu. Select Fabric Profile. Make sure you're selecting the correct version. For me, it's 121.1. And now you can hit Play. Minecraft will launch with Fabric and all of your installed mods. You'll see Fabric at the bottom left. You can go into your Minecraft world and your Fabric mods are now active and ready to use. And my Minecraft now has vehicle that I can drive around. 